Hey guys, so today in Camera LK YouTube channel, we are going to be bringing you something out of the ordinary. We normally review or do videos about camera related things, photography related things, or something that is relevant, something along the line. But today we are going to bring you something new and something exciting. So if you are into technological things and if you are more into AI or robots, keep watching, you're going to love this. So this specific product is coming out from DJI. You would generally think DJI is known to be the brand of drones. However, they're not. So they do have excellent gimbals, they have excellent cameras, they do have their well-known drones, but they have come up with their own robot. The initial inspiration for this has been the RoboMaster competition that DJI hosts in China. So what they do in this competition is basically bring out students from universities and schools and bring them up to develop their own robots real time with using engineering, AI technology, whatever is available during that time. So using these technologies and inspirations, they have created this RoboMaster, which is called the DJI RoboMaster S1. So this specific RoboMaster is called an educational robot, meaning you could actually program this device on your own using Python Scratch. You could pretty much do anything with your Android device, your iOS, your mobile tablet, anything that you want, use it and program it. And then you could share it with your friends. So now let's open the RoboMaster. Okay, so it comes with the instruction manual. It has a whole bunch of papers. And now we have 48 Mackinac wheel rollers. So in the second layer of this box, we have the camera, we have the blaster, we have the gimbal right here, and then we have the main chassis. And lastly, we have the four motors for the wheels. Let's place it aside. And then we have the gel bead container and we have the four damping ring brackets and then we have a whole bunch of other things let's figure out what these are we have four heat detectors so kind of looks like this and we have the intelligent controller and then lastly we have the speaker speaker is kind of small but yeah there it is okay so let's go for the third layer of the box here we have the screw box, pretty handy. I think um, it says that you got pretty much everything that you need to fix this entire unit in this little toolkit box. And then we have the Mackinac wheel mounting plate with other accessories. And then we have two of each left and right threaded inner and outer hubs right here. Right here, which is the most important part. This would be the motion controller of this entire unit. and. We have the chassis front armor and other covers. Here we have the battery here and also the charger. So that's pretty much it for the third layer. So about two hours later, here we are with the final product. I did get some help from my friends just to make it easy on myself. So here it is, this is how it looks. Okay, so you got this lateral movements actually, pretty cool, so let's just turn it on. So for you to operate this, you could either use your personal mobile device, your tab, just connect it through Wi-Fi, or you could purchase the gamepad that is specifically designed for this unit separately. That is just separate. So if you don't want to purchase that, no problem. You could still use your mobile device. Just download the app, RoboMaster app, and then you just have to connect it through Wi-Fi. So right now I've actually got the connection through. It is already connected to my mobile. I'm gonna give my first shot. Um, according to what I know, I think this shoots, excellent. And from here, ooh, it is really fast actually, what? All right, let's just shoot, 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 shoot. 
and come back. Put, 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 and Ooh, loving it. It's actually really fast. The mechanism in the wheels are actually so cool because it is actually made individually. You know like how you turn up a wheel in a car, it actually turns like both the front wheels together. Whereas in this unit, it doesn't happen like that. All of these wheels are controlled individually. So that's kind of cool. Uh, that's why it's so easy to move it laterally like this, um, if you see it. Yeah. Alright, so pretty cool app. Now I'm on the app controlling this whole thing. I will be showing you the options that we have in this device. Um, as you could see, I have downloaded this to my Apple 11 Pro. Okay, now looking at this through my device. This is the FPV view that I have on my screen. The camera is actually right here, if you could see. Uh, that's the view that I see on my camera. You could actually see up and down. You could just control it through the screen. And we have the zoom in, zoom out option right here. I'm just zooming in to the person who's recording this video right now and zooming out. All right. Um, and after that, we have active track. So this is essentially what you actually see on a DJI drone as well. They've pretty much implemented everything that they've gained, all the knowledge that they've gained through all the drones and they've put it into this cool robot that they've built. And here we have the icon for recording. If you tap that, you could record it. And you have the ability to take pictures from this as well. It is right here. I just have no SD card right now, but you are able to take photos and videos out of this. Uh, the video quality is 1080 full HD video quality. That's what you see. And you also have a speaker option right here, um, which gives you audio recording. This uh, robot has two ways of shooting to your friends or whoever you're playing this with. One would be the laser beam and the second option would be gel beans. Um, I don't know if you remember when I was opening the package, I showed you guys the gel beads, the packaging. So what you have to do is soak this in water for about four hours and then um, use this, install it here, right here, insert it in the shooter blaster. And then you could change the option of shooting through the control panel of this app right here. So I'm gonna go to the control panel and you could change, remember we spoke about how speed this was, how fast this was, you could actually change all of that through right here. So you could go medium, fast, custom, slow. That was whatever the speed that you saw was on slow mode. So this is actually really fast and this could be even faster. Um, and then from the control panel, you go below, you could uh, play it with mobile device, gamepad, PC. So now um, we are at the screen looking at the ways that we could shoot. Um, I'm gonna go to the control panel like I said, this has two shooting modes. One would be the gel beads, and then the second one would be the laser beams. The way for you to change that is to go to the control panel. That would be in this right-hand corner. You go to the setting button, control, and then you could go for beams or gels. And then um, since you saw the beams already, I am just gonna go for the gel beads and show you how that works. I could, I, I forgot I could do this. I could actually aim at him. I got you. All right. Uh, so that's that. Um, few uses of this device would be, number one would be for fun, combat with your friends. You could connect this through one single router and connect all your friends as ones and then play combat fight. Number two would be for you to learn programming. So either you could use Scratch or Python, these languages and program something off your own and uh, just transfer it to your friends, share it with your friends and you could uh, play accordingly or fight combat accordingly. So this product is priced at a very reasonable price for all this technology um, that comes in this substantial box. It's a very reasonable price, I'd say. If you are interested in purchasing this product, you can go to www.cameralk.com, go to the site, um, visit the site. You should be able to get all the information about the product, prices, details. So that's it about the RoboMaster S1 DJI new device. I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this to our YouTube channel, Camera LK YouTube channel. Go down, do that. There's a bell icon. Don't forget to hit that so you'll be getting notifications of all our new product reviews, videos, and everything else. 
Thank you so much. I'll see y'all in the next video. Shoot, shoot, shoot.